Welcome back to Menaphos, everybody! I've just been wasting up my fair points on a stupid outfit, because it's literally the only thing you're allowed to spend and one of the points expire on the 12th, whenever uh, the Soul Obelisk spawned, which is a thing that showed up like a day or two into Menaphos that lets you earn a decent amount of stuff. So we're going to go ahead and head there. I know where this one is. Port District. Kind of a rushed start of this recording because I'd wanted to get one of these on camera and they're a bit completely, totally random as far as I can tell. Who knows? I don't think they're ever in the same place in the same role or at the same time or stuff like that. I mean, randomly they probably are, but yeah. But anyway, they're dangerous, so you can bring food and survive. You can't use prayer while they're doing this, but yeah, you just do this. You'll take damage each time. Little gives you a little bit of experience in these two skills. You're in crafting prayer. And uh, 85 reputation. You can get up to 20k a day from these things. I am currently at tier 3 uh, Minifos stuff because of how great this thing is. And we're about to get Ports tier 3, which is, you know, a cosmetic piece of crap. But whatever. I could always switch to one of these other ones and try to unlock all the deposit boxes. It'd take like two days if I kept doing this. The problem with Soul Obelisks is, unless you're using a friend chat for them, you have to be within Minifos and watching the uh, thing for the message. Otherwise, you'll just never know it exists. So that's my problem with it. Um, other than that, you know, it's fast stuff. And I've figured my strategy is to just let myself die with no items and then run back real quick. It's cheaper than food, right? Goodbye. They seem to last a few minutes or so, so you can't get your whole 20k reputation in just one go, but you can get it eventually if you keep doing it. I guess with world hopping and all the clanny, um, friendy chatty stuff, it probably doesn't take too long. I don't know if these are like a permanent addition or not, um, but they are confirmed to be lasting a while. And not just a very short-term thing. So, like right now we get a 5% XP bonus in Minifos for like a month, I think. I don't think these are ending at the same time as that, so they might just be permanent. I don't know if that's been confirmed or not. But yeah, it's how I am this tier already. I've kind of stopped doing the fishing for now, even though I am level 71 fishing, almost 72, which would let me catch uh, whatever the best ones are, I can't remember. But yeah, this is the secret to gaining fast reputation. Now, of course, for the Crocodile Tears quest, which we can now do according to reputation, we also have to do dealing with Scabras and missing my mummy. And uh, those quests are going to take a while to get through because that means we have to do Zogar Flesh Eaters. We have to do the Feud. Um, we have to do Contact, I think. Which, uh, yeah, it's going to take a while, so don't expect us to actually do that quest anytime soon, but we have the reputation for it. That's something, right? It's really annoying that all those quests are required for the very first real quest in the city. I kind of wish they'd scaled up, like maybe the first one requires Missing My Mummy and Spirits of the Illid, and then the one after that requires Dealing with Scabras. I don't know. Would have been nice. Yeah, this is obviously not the most efficient way of doing it, but I'm too lazy to bring food and have to actually eat it when you can just keep respawning and running back. It's the point of the quick travel, right? Sure. There we go. All right, we're back again for more. I kind of want to see how long it lasts, so I'm just going to keep on recording until it dies. However long that may be. I genuinely don't know. Information is still trickling in about things in the city. I do like that it actually does change the lighting effects using the whole thingamabobber that they got. Filters. They gotta use those things for something, right? I guess so. Uh, something interesting. This is completely random, but I was looking it up for a conversation somewhere else. Um, the amount of quests released per year. Um, lately, in the past few years, it's maxed out at 7 a year. Um, but before that, we were getting as high as like... 19 quests a year in the years preceding the last few years uh, Which is a big drop-off Somebody was saying oh, yeah, Minifos is so such a huge update so many quests and stuff that it makes up for the lack of updates it's like not really 
only if we manage to get a quest a month from here on out. Then maybe this will be a better year than previous years in terms of quests. But otherwise, not really. We're not on track to be setting any kind of good amount of quests this year. Which is sad. I miss the days of a quest or two a month. Pretty much every single month. Oh well. Keep on doing this. But yeah. I don't know how much of this I'll be doing because I don't see myself spending too much time within Minifos. I was just kind of AFKing at the uh, Grand Exchange. I guess that's the main thing is I'll be probably using the Grand Exchange a lot since it... Where am I going? I'm going the right way, yeah. Camera was turned and I got all confused. But yeah, I'll probably be using the Grand Exchange because it is a little bit closer to the Lodestone than uh, Varrock, so... Maybe I'll get to do this relatively often, who knows. It's not really a high priority because, I mean, sure, there's some interesting rewards at the very high end, but they're so far away. I don't know if I'm that dedicated when I got more important things to be working on. I've not gained many levels since the last episode, but I've gained a lot of experience in a lot of levels, so I'm a lot closer to leveling up. Uh, I've been meaning to get combat done, it just hasn't happened. been doing other things. I think they're actually doing a free weekend right now, where any account can play, so I might actually be firing up the old Iron Kebab account that I made when they did the free whatever month was it of membership? I don't remember. Yeah, I might fire that account up and goof off on it this weekend, so maybe don't expect much progress. I also might just be recording the next episode today. A little bit after this episode so who knows oh that does remind me I got okay yeah I got that pet the squeck pet which uh, some people seem to have trouble getting I didn't seem to have that much trouble oh there it goes so yeah however long that was uh yeah it seems like it maybe lasted about seven and a half minutes or so I don't know if it's based on how many people are doing it or what but um yeah, that's how much reputation I gained. I don't know what I was at at the start. You could look it up, I guess. But yeah, we don't get another useful reward until 90k in ports. And we're currently at 22k. So that's a while. But I mean, in the other ones, it's you have to get 5k in each just to get a deposit box. Now, as far as the uh, main one, though, we do get the surface skilling buff at 39k and we're already of course at 25k because of these extra k's here so that's actually maybe would be worth it i mean discovering an impling that'd be really useful once we get prift Dennis for the guy who wants us to find all the implings because then we can just train here and get implings slowly but who knows maybe that is something i should prioritize and uh i mean that's not bad making Shifting Tombs better, and also they, um, they're making Shifting Tombs a little bit more reasonable for solo players, but I don't know if they fixed it enough. Uh, yeah, we don't need that. Apparently this is, like, a very, very small, small, small chance to save a Feather. Like, 1% or less, I think, so not really worth it. And the VIP skilling area, maybe not so bad, I don't know. Because it has a bank chest right next to it. Um, yeah, Fight Club. Yeah, th this thing sounds interesting, not gonna lie, but I don't know what to expect from it. I don't know how many people actually have it yet. People, I think, just got Fight Club yesterday. So, that <laughs> that shows how long it takes. Anyway, um, right, so today, what I was going to do, and what the title probably gives away, is Fish Flingers. I'm just going to go ahead and head on up to um, Catherby, because, I mean, there might be a guy here, I don't know. I don't care, we're just going to go to Catherby and use that entrance, because that's where I I've been trying to fish lobsters to get a golden lobster egg, because I want to get some prawn perks to get unlock um, unlimited uh, fly fishing with no feathers, but no such luck on that quite yet. All right, so now we're going to hop to world 89. All right, Fishflinger's world. 
Now, the point of doing fish flingers is I really am tired of not having the fishing outfit since it's one of the easier ones to get. So I'm going to do it here, and then I'll be able to do it on my own free time and just earn it. All right, so I need to join a friend chat, which I have not used in a long, long time. Okay, um, I think it's two fish fling, if I remember correctly. And there is no nothing in there. That's not the right one, then. Um, what do you think it's called? I don't know. I need... Do I have to, like, start this already? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Um, opens in three minutes. Okay. That's when it opens. No, that gives me time to go look up what the actual thing is. What do you think the actual one is? I I remember two flish... Two flish fling? Yeah. Is it two fling fish, maybe? Yeah, maybe... Maybe I had the words backwards. Two fling sish. Yes, that's definitely. There we go. I got it. All right. There's all the people who flinging fish right now. I kind of remember this. Um. Yeah, <laughs> that's all I have to say on that. I kind of remember this. We just gotta stand around waiting. Oh man. I got 34 Invention, which was my goal um, for the uh, Junk Chance Reduction 1, and it requires like 750 um, Inspiration to do. Now, to give you an idea, I got 28 Inspiration when I leveled up, and then I got 14 as the only boost at that level. So, it's going to probably be some levels. I don't know, some levels seem to get more than others, so maybe like 35 we have a ton. But either way, I'm sad because... I think I have, like, almost 200 inspiration out of the 750 I need. Sucks. I want the junk chance reduction. That's what I've set my next goal as, is junk chance reduction, too. Because it just ups the value of disassembly, which is one of the main reasons that I have the old invention right now. You can look. Yay, look at all this junk that I have. Oh, that's a lot of tensile parts. Hmm. 17k of those. Yeah, there's some good junk in here. We even have uh, some nightly components. Very nice. I might um, go ahead and augment some weapons. I realize that we're actually kind of at the ideal level range right now. Um, probably once we hit 70 attack, I'll augment a whip, is what I'll do. Because then... Um, is it open yet? No, one minute. We can look. Um, what am I looking at? I'm looking at the skills. At what level do you unlock the ability to get to level 10? Um, is it really? Oh, it's not even a research? What is it? I don't know. Fine, we'll just do everything. More to look through, but whatever. Um, where is it? Jeez. There's 15. Where's 10? Do I already have 10? Oh yeah, look at that. I already have it. All right, perfect. So yeah, we can train the whip up to level 10 and just disassemble it because whips are cheap. Why not? Um, so we're actually at the perfect level range. I just need to get 70 attack. And it'd be nice if I could get enhanced Excalibur, but there's quests to do for that. So I might have to get a different offhand weapon, which I'm not sure what there is at that level range. I know there's like um, a sword from the Pest series, but you got to earn like points for that and stuff. Yes. There we go. All right, there's going to be a lot of waiting here. It's a 10-minute game once you actually get in it, so that's a thing. Uh, okay, I think we can get a hint. I don't know if we can get it yet, though. Oh, I think I've got my French hat off. A darter cod at the river. Okay, how do I write? I know this clan chat friend chat whatever it's on i'm not seeing anyone talk because private chats on friends only no do i need to like go to friends chat why is nobody talking Anal quitted there's like a million people here oh right channel W89. Well, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, there's nobody in here. 
Oh, maybe they're still in the other game. I think that's what's happening. Yeah, I think so. But yeah, they'll be mad if I don't post it. I think they watch the list somehow. Who knows? But I don't see anyone talking, so that's that's a bit strange. Considering friends chat is definitely on. Hmm. But I guess it's just the rules of the friend chat. Anyway, I'm going to bring you guys back in uh, probably, I don't know, three minutes or so. See you then. All right, welcome to Fish Flingers. I'm trying to figure out what to do here. Um, I know we need to choose some stuff. Oh my gosh, what's going on here? I think it was flashing like crazy. All right. Yeah, it kind of caught me off guard with when it started. I was still trying to figure out how to do my dang call with what it told me for the wait, but I figured it out through the wiki. But anyway, eventually they'll tell us the best combination. Um, right now, I'm not even fishing, am I? Oh, I have to click cast, that's what's happening. Cast. Okay, so pike on docks, um, pike on docks with worm and double four. So I take that off, and I don't understand. Oh, right there. Okay, cast, please. Um, this is worms. Double worm four. Oh, right, double is this. Duh. Cast. Right, I'm learning it. There we go, 100%. Now we can just fish here. We've discovered one of the tackles for the docks. I think you want to try to discover as many as you can, um, but I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah, you just kind of try and see what the percentages change and things happen and everything's amazing and blah, blah, blah. Look at all these fish flinging in the air. Wee! That is really obnoxious. I think that's people catching big fish and needing help, but it's really annoying. Okay, so are we just not announcing any other combinations? Because there's two combinations for the dogs. And uh, nobody's saying anything at all. Which is a bit worrying. Hmm. Maybe we're just going to focus on this one. Who knows? Now, there is like a weight range where you find out which one has like the best weight. And then you can stay there and get it. But if you stay too long, it gets worse. And, um... Yeah, the maximum... The final digit needs to be nine. So this is not the best spot. This is actually one of the worst spots. So that's fun. Maybe I'll start messing around. I don't know. I don't feel like doing another one, right? Because I don't remember how to do it. Honestly, you can like switch to this and I'll be like, oh no. Got 83%. Wood six maggot, okay. Wood six maggot. I was getting there, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Okay, 121 is like... It's slightly better, actually. Alright. It does mean that... Uh, we don't want to stay here, though. We want to go to one of the other spots. Such as the shore, which is... Uh, is this the shore? Is this the lake? I don't know. We'll start casting and figure out what fish this is, at least. Is it the best one? Look at me go. It is uh, a weight of one. So no, it's not very good, I guess. Oh man, that is just terrible. Herrings. Yeah, you wouldn't expect a herring to be the heaviest fish, would you? Um, We got six more minutes. Yeah, I can try switching and try three, I guess. That might be better, who knows? Let's see, is three any better? It is not any better. Um, herring, lake, location, what? Lock? What is lock? 331. Yeah, they're not supposed to do that. I know, in the rules of this franchise, they said no do numbers. No do numbers. <laughs> yeah, no, you're not supposed to do um, the numbers. But that's how they used to do it back in the day when I originally did this. Oh, hey, it actually is the best. Huh. 
I guess it just doesn't get the right numbers until you have 100%. Alright, so this is the best spot. We've already got one that's the maximum weight. So we're doing good. Yeah, no numbered combos. I've hooked a big fish. I'm trying to catch a big fish here. Wee. Okay, that was that, I guess. Yeah, 250 weight. Very nice. There's like rewards you get for helping people out and finding all the different fish and all that. I think the maximum experience you can get from this is 20k per game. Um, I don't know if there's a limit to how many games you can do a day, but there is a limit to how many tickets you can get, which I guess is how things usually work. Now we could run over there, or we could wait for them to figure out the number and then run over there. We want to be... I don't know. I mean, I'm not really helping with the number anyway, so why not? You can catch a lot of large fish here. Uh, yeah, total weight is a thing. Total assists is cut off for whatever reason. Someone needs help, but I don't know. That probably already happened. Catch big fish. We'll be an assister. Two assistants. Yay, look at us catch that big fish. Hey, you get medals, I think, for doing that. I don't know. I don't remember how you actually, like, the point system, how it works into earning the fishing outfit. I know there's, like, points and you can unlock rewards, but I don't remember... I don't remember the details. Okay, STD. What is STD? <laughs> uh, oh, standard one of these. Okay. I was like, what kind of bug is a standard? Um, what what did they say? Um, I already forget. Crayfish, right, duh. And two. There we go. All right, so now we're 100%ing the river. That is four out of six. And we have three minutes left, which means if we want them all, we're gonna have to go do it ourselves. I think there's the beach up there, and I don't remember the other spot. Hmm. Is there two river spots, maybe? Um, Trout, River, Grey Moth 5. Yeah, there is two. Alright, um, Grey Moth, um... They don't actually say... There's no River Hook. So, is it Slim Hook, maybe? Who knows? It is! Hooray! That's 5 out of 6. We can stay here a while, or we can run over to this one. I'll go ahead and run over to that one, because why not? It can be... One of the newcomers. Something. An interesting little place to be, isn't it? There's the waterfalls over there. Oh well, so we know it's going to be... Is it the bone hook that hasn't been used? What number hasn't been used? Was it one? I think one's been used. Is it three that hasn't been used? And green moth, maybe? I don't know. I think some of these don't get used, because there's eight. But we can at least get close. Hey, look at that! We got it first try. And it's a good one again, right? It ends in 9, which means that it's the biggest size. Can't believe I guessed it just based on random knowledge from like 3, 4 years ago. Oh no, a big fish! What annoys me is that big fish make you stop catching. It's obnoxious, is what I think. Very obnoxious. Oh well. So yeah, now everyone's going to run over here and ruin it for us. Those jerks. But anyway, yeah, so with any luck, I don't know, in a week or so, I'll have the whole fishing outfit, which is like a 5% XP boost to fishing. I'm going to push for it because I'm actually fishing nowadays. I don't know. We're making good progress on skills. Um, as you can see, I've got 67 cooking now, um, thanks to Citadel. I'm going to try to get that higher if possible. Don't know if that'll happen. Um, obviously, I said combat. We get to attack 70, and then we augment a whip. Try to get something okay on there, I guess. As good stuff happens, I guess. Um, I don't have any particular goal for invention, except to get it up high enough to where we stop putting Tears of Guthics into it, because I did Tears of Guthics, and while it was a terrible run, I only got like 4-something K experience in invention. And I was getting, I think, like, 20-something K in the level 60s, so that, that's pathetic. It's just pathetic, considering how much experience you need per level at 34 Invention. But whatever. 
We're almost done here. What does ratings say? Ah. So it tells a thing. Oh, somebody wants help. Well, it's too late. I'm lost. Forgot how to cast. Cast! Look at all the fish flinging! Oh man, you can't have the camera right there. So sad. Look at all these fish splatting. Oh, we can help catch. You will be caught, you stupid fish. Well, no, you won't, because we're out of time, actually. Oh well. I didn't get in the top. Not a surprise. But I did get two medals. I got Junior Angler and Master Angler. I didn't get three big fish, and I didn't assist in six. Oh, I thought it was three. So yeah, most fish caught. I forgot that was a thing. Heaviest fish I tied for. Yay! Um, I awarded 25 fish tokens. So that's a number. I don't know if that's a good number or not. Uh, shop guy. I don't know. Claim reward? Huh. Show me the reward shop, please. All right, so yeah. Based on that, of course, it would take us five more times just to get a single piece, which is not terrible. We can also get the tackle box, which I think is mostly pointless. You can buy entry tickets, but I don't know why you do that, really. And you can do that, too. And yeah. So yeah, I'll be going for this. It's just a little thing. I'm trying to take care of all these things, even though I always take forever to get around to them. Like, I've never finished upgrading my Yak Twee stick. Um, there's other things that I need to work on as well of this nature, but it's another thing. I mean, I did eventually get the full Diviner's outfit and the full Shaman's outfit, so I'll get it. Hopefully I'll get it sooner rather than later, but I will see you later.